This is what Elizabeth Port looked like in the early 1980s. Like many inner city areas, the port was home to abandoned buildings, litter filled lots, and families dreaming of a better way of life. This would be the last place you would expect anyone to invest time and money to attempt any type of revitalization. Who in their right mind could imagine any good springing up from such a downtrodden area? Enter Reverend Joseph Garlic. Well, when we came here in 1966, that is when the Presbyterian Church decided to establish a presence here through the Elizabeth Port Presbyterian Center, which is a social service agency uh, on the corner of First and Magnolia. Uh, as we became involved in the community, uh, one of the things that uh, we became concerned about was the housing situation. Uh, at that time, there was a very serious housing crisis in Elizabeth, uh, particularly for low-income families. There were a lot of uh, empty lots, blighted housing, and there were very few apartments to rent for anybody. And so we began to ask the question, what can we do? With their mission statement in place, to revitalize and enhance the quality of life in Elizabeth Port and surrounding communities for low and moderate income families, it was time to put on the gloves, grab a shovel, and get to work. And so it began. Brand New Day was on its way, shaping the lives of families living in the port in ways no one could ever have imagined. And while the leadership of Brand New Day has changed hands over the years, it is once again being led by a member of the Garlic family. The way that I got involved was I was invited, uh, when I returned to New Jersey from law school, I was invited to become a part of the board and served on the board for a few months, just short of a year. Um, before being asked to interview for the executive director position. And so that was kind of my entry into Brandy Day. What better way to set an example for others than to return to your old neighborhood to help make it better for those who chose to stay? With affordable houses, rental units, and new homes now dotting the landscape, there truly is the promise of a brand new day in the port section of Elizabeth. But new homes alone do not make a neighborhood better. Along with the rebuilding of bricks and mortars, it was also time to reshape families and show residents how to live a better life and to take control of their own futures. The whole point of Brand New Day was to recreate uh, a vital community where people could live, work, play, uh, and have a great life. We probably um, were the first effective organization down here, uh, a private or nonprofit organization down in this area uh, that started what has turned out to be a legacy of progress and improvement as you can see around you. It's not hard to find success stories in the Elizabeth Port area. Residents looking to better themselves and find suitable housing for their families have made their way to the offices of Brand New Day. There they have found a staff willing and able to help them pursue their desire for home ownership a prospect that at one time was just a faraway dream. Me and my children walk past that because I work right down the street. I work at Bank of America down the street. So every day we get up and it's like a ride. We so excited like, that's our house, that's our house. So we go past there and like, my daughter, she went away to Atlanta and she just came back um, yesterday. So she said, Ma, I gotta see what they doing so far. I said, I aged it. It was raining so they haven't been working on it today. She said, I still wanna see. So we just anxious to, you know, be moved in and have a home of our own. While Elizabeth Port will always be the starting point and home to Brand New Day, their sights were set on areas outside of the city of Elizabeth, with East Orange and Irvington, two towns, inviting them in to help. They will be doing 11 single family houses and they will be affordable. They could be low to moderate income. People will be at the opportunity because it's a challenge in the urban environment to do single family housing. But to have some single family housing for low and moderate income people is really, really significant. We're proud of the partnership with the, we've developed with Brand New Day and we're looking forward to going to not only the groundbreaking, but the actual selling of the houses to people who might have had, not had the opportunity to own homes in the township of Irvington. As we celebrate more than 20 years of community building, Brand New Day will not stop until everyone searching for affordable housing has the opportunity to find it. That's why the staff shows up for work each and every day. We have a core of volunteers, and I can't say enough about that. Without volunteers, um, we, we really would not be able to survive. We use volunteers on a daily basis. 
um, in the office here to help us with um, mailings, phone calling, and then when we have special events. And we have a number of events throughout the year where volunteers are key to our success. As far as the city of Elizabeth is concerned, a huge debt of gratitude is owed to the men and women who have worked tirelessly for the betterment of the entire population. 20 years ago, Brand New Day had a vision. The vision was for affordable housing in the oldest section of our community. Brand New Day started what became a massive economic development opportunities for people to acquire not only affordable housing, but market rate housing in what is called the port section of our city. If it wasn't for Brand New Day, we wouldn't have the Hope Six project. If it wasn't for Brand New Day, we wouldn't have the new market housing on the waterfront. And Brand New Day and their employment opportunities played a major role in us attracting the Jersey Gardens Mall because of the social service that Brand New Day provides. Brand New Day has been a great partner in our community for the last 20 years, and I'm hopeful that over the next 20 years, Brand New Day in the City of Elizabeth will continue to create housing opportunities and employment opportunities for the residents of our city. And the future looks even brighter for residents in the many areas that Brand New Day sets up shop. I mean, I think that it's been a success and um, we've built a strong foundation. I think that, you know, one of the, again, the unique things about our organization is that we have positioned ourselves now to really be a leader uh, and a premier organization and an organization that people look to for home buyer education, for foreclosure prevention, for community organizing, for financial literacy. We're doing just some really creative things around partnership, um, around creating home buyers, partnerships with churches, partnerships with mosques. I mean, this is just really an exciting time for us to see how we can continue to build upon the foundation that was already established by the 22 years and say, we're not done yet. There's so much more to be done. Um, and we're excited about it. The future of community development, Brand New Day Incorporated, coming to a community near you.